fifth. For humanists, one of the key humanist values is creativity, the fountainhead of innovation and invention, the boundless spirit of novelty and discovery. This is related to autonomy and self-respect. So what we want to create in open democratic societies is the capacity for individuals to make their own choices as creative being with the courage to fulfill their, their talents. The uncreative person is a conformist who is uh, unwilling to break new ground. The uncreative person is timid and fearful of new departures. This morning, we visited the Brancusi, Constantine Brancusi exhibit. Unfortunately, it was closed when we got there. And I thought that the works of uh, Constantine Brancusi would be exhibited because I've seen him many times in Paris. Daring new ideas, great sculpture and artist. And so each and every person has the power to be in your own terms. A creative person exudes the zest for life, overflows the willingness to explore and be adventurous. And many women are particularly timid with this. And uh, it's uh, thrilling now. As you travel around the world to see women entering into their professions. You see gay people recognized as human beings equal with dignity and value. Every person is going to be considered equal in dignity and value. And creativity is the highest point of what it means uh, to be human. We're defined by our creative spirit. We're the masters of our own destinies. We're the makers of new worlds. We can add to the sum of human joy and achieve the fullness of life. Sixth, very important for the individual, is to de develop high motivation, ready to seize the opportunities in life. That's why you need an open, democratic society, and I hope that Romania is moving in that direction, open, free, democratic society in which every individual can become what he or she, consonant with, of course, economic uh, resources. Uh, seventh, this attitude is affirmative and positive. As I travel around the world, I've been in 70 countries of the world, and we have centers, actually we're 80 or 90 countries, there are various groups, humanist groups. We emphasize not pessimism, we're not pallbearers, naysayers, we're surrounded by negative naysayers. We believe in an affirmative, and positive attitude towards life. We need some optimism that we do matter, that we can make our mark upon the world, that we can change the future. Although we may suffer failure and defeat, we believe that we shall overcome and succeed in the end despite adversity. And if we don't, we go on to new challenges. That is why the courage to become not the courage to be, as Paul Tillich, the Protestant theologian, said. I published a book called The Courage to Become. The courage to be, become whatever you want to be. That's the point. Now, maybe that's easier in American life, or maybe that's easier in French life, or in English life, you know, with more hierarchical society. But nonetheless, it's the potentiality of 20th, 21st century life. Yes, the power to become what you want to seize the opportunity. Eighth, the affirmative person who accepts humanist values is capable of joie de vivre, the intensity and passion of joyful experience, the capacity to let go and to experience the full range of human pleasures and satisfactions. When we consider sex wonderful, orgasm good, Eating and drinking, marvelous. Making love, kissing, embracing, laughing and singing. Doing good deeds for others. 
learning from reading and studying and doing research and providing moral deeds. The human person is capable of a wide range of activities. Ninth, of course, to achieve this, to achieve the good life, that's what we emphasize, a good life here and now for you and your friends and relatives and your society. 